Okay, where we left off in the last tutorial, we had scripted Winter Wonderland and an interesting text that was outlined and also had some snowfall falling within the center, center of the uh, text. Um, we can actually add more interesting effects with Captions Live Pro quite easily. Um, one is to emboss the text and that's done very simply by just clicking the emboss button and then uh, setting it for all, meaning that that configuration will be set for all of the text scripts. And then if we just draw the text, we'll see that, yeah, there it is. It's an embossed text. It's white on black and can be used as a mask layer in uh, Producer, just as we did before. So I'm going to go ahead and build the AVI for this. Uh, this time I will call it a uh, <clears throat> Winter Wonderland embossed. And we'll go ahead and build that. Uh, and I'll check back, at, or I'll check out for a second here, and I'll be back in, uh, when this thing is finished. Okay, so there we are. The uh, Winter Wonderland embossed AVI has now been built. And once again, there's no more need for, um, for s captions alive in this project. So I'll just go ahead and uh, move on over to uh, Pro Show Producer, and we'll do a little importing there. So here we are back in Producer. Um, you recall from the last time that the um, the project we built did this. It scripted Winter Wonderland with snow in the middle of the uh, of the text, um, painting over the uh, winter scene. So we're going to change that just a little bit, and we're going to open up the layer stack again. And this time, instead of the outline, I'm going to replace it. And I'm going to do that by uh, selecting the new AVI that we just built, which was the Winter Wonderland embossed. So we're going to replace that uh, original AVI, the um, outline, with the embossed one. Now, since they were both built in Captions Alive, using the same text and same speeds and everything, the um, this, the the uh, length of this video will be the same as the length of the other. So I don't have to worry about changing any any uh, length times and things to make things match. But anyway, now we have a uh, a new embossed AVI that's using uh, the same solid color as before, and uh, we can take a real quick look and see what that masks down at. We'll be able to see that um, out here now we have a uh, a different look. We have this embossed outer dark outer layer with a lighter inner layer but still the snow coming down in the middle if we play it you'll be able to see that um, the snow does uh, does in fact play down through the center of the uh, the lighter section of the uh, embossed text however it is a little darker and one thing that might be interesting to do here in order to pick the text up a little better would be we'll go back up here to the uh, effects menu on the uh, layer for the for the layers and we'll take this embossed and I think what I want to do is I want to move it down here into the corner some and if we do that then I'll tell it tell producer to uh, take the end and make it the start and but we have to do the same thing with the solid as well because the solid's sitting still up up uh, at the center of the uh, of the frame, so we will then have to well let's make these nice even numbers for this thing. We'll make it down 22, and we'll make it uh, or over minus 22 and down 20. These are percentages, by the way, on this on the producer screen. So now we'll just tell, okay, wherever we put the start, we want that to be the finish. So it won't float all over the place. Now remember those numbers, minus 22 and 20. And if we go to the solid one, we will then tell it we want it to go minus 22 and 20. And we'll take the, again, we'll take the start to the end. So now they're both in the same place again now. Um, and if we uh, play this thing now, we'll see that indeed it now scripts out down here in the corner. It still has the snow, and it's um, got a little bit of a different flavor than what we had before. Um, 
One other thing you can do is to give it a little more dimension. We can actually <clears throat> take the solid color and with, what we'll do is we'll duplicate it. And having duplicated it, I want to bring it all the way down to the bottom to where it's just over top of the winter scene because in here I'm going to stick yet another solid color layer. But this one I want to be black because I'm going to use it as a shadow. So we'll set that color and now we have a, a solid color layer. I want to use the solid color video again as a mask so it just masks the uh, solid color where it, it is where the video is playing and up here under layers we are also going to make a few adjustments on this particular video first off we're going to blur it we'll take it blur out to about 25 or so and that will blur the the entire uh, text video but it also is going to directly impose it over superimpose it underneath actually because it's in the lower part of the lower, lower layer stack here it will superimpose it underneath the solid and the embossed layer exactly which isn't quite what we really want we want an offset so up here in the um, in the effects layer I'm gonna take this thing off about seven tenths of a percent or so so what I would like to do here is take this down to 21.3 which will move it to the right about three tenths of or seven tenths of a percent and this 20 I'm going to move it down to uh, 20.7 and we'll save or start to end that the same way now if you take a look at what we have now we've got a little bit of a shadow that gives it more of a three-dimensional effect so when you look at it now it the winter wonderland scripts with a little bit more of a three-dimensional effect than we had before still we have the darker outline with the snow falling on the lighter blue color in the center and as a final thing we can per perhaps ask the question in looking at this uh, this nice little snow scene image here is this in the morning or is this in the evening the text in this darker shade would kind of tend to hint that it's probably in the evening However, if you want to get a different effect, we open up the um, layer again, layer stack again, and instead of using the dark blue here that we've used for um, for the outline or the the yes the outline of the embossed text, let's go and uh, edit that again, and we'll take an, a different sh approach and make that white. So now the outline of the text is going to be white. The center is still going to be the same shade of blue and the snowflakes falling through will still be the same shade. But what this gives you now is a uh, an effect that would kind of hint more toward the morning. It's brighter, it's lighter, it makes, makes one think uh, of a new day as opposed to the end of the old day. And if, uh, if that isn't enough, if we extend out the video time say a little bit out to 30 for that slide I just happen to have another AVI up here that I built in Highlighter Pro some time ago and I'm going to drop that on top of all this and we're going to open the layer stack and one more time add another solid color layer you can do these things almost indefinitely in producer it's very very good this way now I'm going to take this snow so the soft snow video and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make it again a mask layer and this time it's over a white so it's going to produce white snowflakes but I don't want them to start right away because the scripting takes a while so we're going to go out here to where oh let's say about right here and let's have these things fade in and now if we pay the final effect that we have of all of this together what you see is the morning type uh, scripting with the whiter outline with the snow in the middle <clears throat> and finally after that's all done if we wait just a second the um, the snow from the Highlighter Pro uh, um, AVI that's being used as a mask comes in and now we get the impact of perhaps a morning snow light morning snowfall in this beautiful scene so there you have it. That's uh, 
just one more effect you can get from Captions Alive Pro using it in Highlight or Captions Alive Pro using it in uh, Producer, Pro Show Producer, and also adding in a, a little uh, extra effect from Highlighter Pro. So I hope that this um, video showed a little bit more about what can happen using uh, Highlighter Pro with very little, um, very little changes and quite easily.